nuclear weapons can be delivered to their targets by a large variety of systems. The most notable ones are ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, gravity bombs, and torpedoes. Missiles can be placed in fixed silos or can be carried by submarines, road mobile launchers, or aircraft. A missile launch facility, also known as a missile silo, is a vertical, cylindrical structure constructed underground for the storage and launching of intercontinental ballistic missiles, or ICBMs. They are usually connected physically and or electronically to a missile launch control center. After the launch, a ballistic missile will travel through space on a ballistic trajectory and release one warhead or multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, or MIRVs. Each re-entry vehicle can be directed to an individual target. The positions of all such missile silos are known, but they are usually hardened against blast and are designed to launch the missiles quickly and with little preparation time. Ballistic missiles can also be carried by submarines. One Ohio-class submarine of the United States can carry up to 20 Trident II ballistic missiles. Each Trident submarine-launched ballistic missile can carry up to eight nuclear warheads, but normally carry an average of four or five warheads for an average loadout of approximately 90 warheads per submarine. Submarines can fire missiles thousands of kilometers from their targets and are very difficult to detect, thus making them a survivable deterrent in the event of a first strike and a key element of the mutually assured destruction policy of nuclear deterrence. Aircraft can deliver nuclear weapons as cruise missiles or as free-falling gravity bombs. Aircraft-delivered gravity bombs are the most simple type of delivery for nuclear weapons and were used to destroy the cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Many modern nuclear weapons can be delivered by cruise missiles launched from long-range bombers. This allows launching the missiles outside of the reach of enemy air defenses, making the bombers more survivable. Aircraft can disperse in a crisis and thus survive an attack on the bases where they are stationed. A nuclear triad is a military force structure that consists of land-based intercontinental ballistic missiles, submarine-launched ballistic missiles, and strategic bombers. The purpose of having this three-branched nuclear capability is to significantly reduce the possibility that an enemy could destroy all of a nation's nuclear forces in a first strike attack. This in turn ensures a credible threat of a second strike and thus increases a nation's nuclear deterrence. Another widely used delivery system is the Road Mobile Transporter Erector Launcher, or TEL. Such systems can carry one or two ballistic or cruise missiles and can move on roads, thus allowing them to disperse in a crisis. The advantage of mobile TEL systems is more difficult detection by the enemy, which makes them more survivable. TELs are deployed by a number of countries and carry tactical as well as strategic nuclear weapons. There are also more exotic delivery systems. One of them is the Kinsel air-launched ballistic missile deployed by the Russian Federation. Before the launch, the missile is carried by aircraft through the atmosphere and then follows a ballistic trajectory outside of the atmosphere. The high speed and ability to maneuver in the last phase of its flight make it very difficult to intercept. Nuclear War Simulator can be used to create scenarios with any nuclear weapon delivery system that is deployed today. It can also be used to design historical or experimental systems by designing the warhead, the missile, and then placing this missile on a carrier. In the next video, we will talk about the effects of nuclear weapons and how they affect military objects, civilian infrastructure, and people.